So I went on vacation last week to a very teeny tiny town in Northern California and I somehow happened upon two hopefully working point and shoots for five dollars each. So I thought I'd take you along today uh, to test out these cameras and see if they work. It would be an absolute miracle if so. Now, you might be thinking, Taylor, are you vlogging today? I'm thinking that same thing. Vlogging is weird, it's hard, it's not natural for me, but it gets the job done. And I feel like I woke up feeling a little bit spicy and those are the greatest days to vlog because, at least for me, because when I'm spicy, I actually have things to say. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds, I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. If there is one thing about me, it's that I love some sugar. I love me some sugar. Grande, do you have a java chip frappuccino? Oh yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. This is like dangerously delicious. This is the Olympus Infinity Super Zoom 300. It honestly, I thought it was a like camcorder because of this side strap, but no, it's a 35 millimeter stills camera and it has a zoom lens. So from 38 to 105 millimeters um, and we've lorded, lorded up some Portra. Nope. Next we have the Infinity Twin, also by Olympus. Uh, this is dual lens, so it has a 35 millimeter and a 70 millimeter. So here we go. Frame counter's not going up, so it still says one. Not looking good. So yeah, maybe some issues with, with this guy. Oh, that frame worked. Okay, okay, let's try again. Sweet, okay, now it's working. Frame three. <laughs> right off the bat that I need to get used to is having different focal lengths. Um, all of the point and shoots I have are a fixed, very wide lens, either a 28 or a 35. So to have anything more than that is pretty cool. Um, and I'm just not used to shooting that way with point and shoot. So kind of just a fun um, new element with both of these cameras. a cool car oh yeah that's a great car and it's all by itself that's lucky no matter what I always feel incredibly awkward shooting a car on the street because clearly the owner is somewhere nearby and I always get so nervous but I'm gonna get called out by the owner or something. So I am gonna whip the, the big boy out again and use that lovely, lovely 105 millimeter tele lens and try and get some of these bees.
these picks. Now why is it that a tennis court is just begging to be photographed? It's honestly unexplainable. The moon is out today for whatever reason and uh, I just popped this thing at 110 and we'll see if it can pick it up. I am gonna scramble down this little hill because that's what you do to get the shot. I don't even know if there are any shots down here, but I'm going. Oh God. Oh, I'm just gonna have to slide here quite a bit. Okay. You made it. Ha <laughs> ha. She goes. Still shows frame 36, so I really hope it rewound. It sounded like it did. Did it not? I'm gonna take another shot just in case. The numbers aren't going down. Oh, I'm scared. All right, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> caught an adorable little row of ducks on a log over there for quite a few frames. So I'm on my last black and white frame. So you know what time it is. Here we go. I have to make sure I'm not in telly to do the wide lens. Here we go. Oh, I got an extra shot. I'll take one of my camera. <laughs> Auto rewind. Love that sound. Boom. Rewound. It's time to go drop these rolls off. And then I will see you when I get the scans back. Okay. It is the time we have all been waiting for. I need to remember to take deep breaths. It's just like, I just want to see if there are exposures. Oh my God, they're there. Oh my God, they're there. Where's the link? Where's the link? Okay. Okay, so there's a JPEG folder and a TIFF folder, which is a good sign because if the roll was blank, you wouldn't do that. Do they both work? Oh my God, they're here. You're kidding. Okay, y'all, we have images. I'm gonna let them roll on the screen. I am so excited. They work, they work, they work, they work.